I'm going on a little bit of an experiment. I've been watching a lot of YouTube channels with uh, primitive technology guys who, are, who make wonderful things out of stuff with very basic tools and that. I'm not terribly into doing everything absolutely primitive, but I've always wanted to make my own bow. I've been an archer now for 21 years. Uh, I've shot all different types of bows. I've hunted game animals. I've uh, participated in competitions and so on and so forth. And one of the things I've always wanted to do is take it right from the very beginning a bow out of the bush and whittle it down and make one properly. Now I had a chance to learn with a bloke called Lars Richer. He's a German um, living in Australia and he made, uh, he showed us how to make bows. He used to run an archery range and um, he came out and he did a thing, a workshop with us. And that was really cool. Now I was talking to him and he basically told me that you can make a bow out of anything, uh, of any wood, but it the type of wood you use will depend on how long it lasts, uh, the poundage, its application, so on and so forth. So, you know, there are ideal bow woods and there are bow woods that will work for a time. That's what I'm basing uh, this experiment on, that there are bow woods that will work for a time. Now, I'm looking for a bit of wood that will be partially seasoned but not old and dead lying on the ground. I think I found my tree. This tree is dead. This one just here. It is dead. <laughs> you can see at the top. Um, but only recently, it's only just dropped its leaves and so on and so forth. Uh, and it's got a relatively nice straight trunk that I reckon I could probably make something out of. So even though most of the leaves are dead up top, you can still see that it's quite wet. Um, and I have been told to pull the bark off it when it's wet. So we have to get in between those two layers and pull the bark off. That's our next step. We'll see how we go, eh? Grizzly keeps getting in the way of the axe, so he gets to stay over there and dig his hole. And I'll get to work. What you didn't see was how long it took to get the um, bark off. There's a lot of it all over there. And there I use various trees to prop it up. But now we're done. So it's debarked and now I've got to decide whether I want to split it. Because I either split it now and it will hopefully season quicker, but I don't know if that would be detrimental. I might split it. Let's just see what happens. There we go, we used a, a hatchet to take down a tree, completely debark it and split it with nothing more than a bit of a wattle branch that I broke off um, for a hammer. Now I just got to get these back and um, start seasoning them, then we'll look for part two.